What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back bringing you guys part four for my playthrough on Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shine and Pearl. So guys, in the last episode, we made our way up to Floroma Town, defeated Team Galactic, and collected the second Pokemon on our team, which is Buizel. And in today's video, we're going to be making our way towards the second gym and Eterna City. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smash that like button and click an epic red subscribe button seriously you guys are amazing shout out to everybody who supports this playthrough and is having a blast watching it it really does go a long way so seriously thank you guys once again but as you guys can see on the bottom our team is ripping right now it is ripping we have grottle and buizel we finally got the second pokemon towards our team so we're gonna be making our way towards that second gym like i already said in the intro but guys if you want to catch more content from me make sure you guys are following my twitch page link is down in the description below and the name is right on this face cam we have been crushing this game on a separate account we are currently past the fourth gym and by the time this recording comes out we'll probably be past like the fifth or sixth gym so hopefully you guys are enjoying all the content i do have to offer on this game but rattle is here rattle is here we are using two totally separate teams so it's a totally different playthrough and it's fun so i'd love to see you guys actually pop out there and hang out but i've been getting a lot of questions about the youtube channel everyone's like yo jeans are you still doing a uh, sword and shield are you still doing rank battles are you still doing unite yes all the content that we've been doing is going to be here we're just putting them a little bit on the side right now to do a little bit of uh, pokemon brilliant diamond and pearl get that on the burner get some videos out for that and then we will bring back uh, pokemon sword and shield we're not going to completely like just disregard it and play the whole game we're not just going to like beat this game and then go back to Sword and Shield. No, we'll still have some Sword and Shield content coming out as Brilliant Pokemon Diamond and Pearl are being played at the same time. So thank you guys for being patient. Hopefully you guys are enjoying all the content. It really does go a long way. But we got poisoned from a Badoo. From a Badoo. But I cannot wait to show off this team for you guys. This team on this uh, squad is going to be amazing. I've been thinking about just leveling up the whole time. But we just got to keep grinding on this recording. But let me go into my bag. See if I have an antidote. Just get ripping right off here. My plan is for today's video is to definitely make it to Eterna City. We definitely want to make it to Eterna City. Battle all these trainers on this route right here. Level up. Get all of our Pokeballs. Get all the berries. All that good stuff. But once we get to Eterna City, we will unlock the Underground. Which the Underground is a huge part of this game. Cannot wait to showcase that off. And we can catch a third Pokemon for a squad. Who is definitely going to help us out in that Grass Gym. Definitely going to help us out in the Grass Gym. Because we definitely need another Pokemon if we're going to be tackling on that second gen. Because there's no way my Buizel and my Grottle over here is going to be able to tackle on a level 22 Razor because that is the final pokemon in the second gym and that thing just rips it honestly just rips it is a great pokemon all around it really is but get out of here geodude we're ripping up on you grotto with the level up dude i want buizel to learn a water move. i've been waiting for that man i've been waiting for buizel to learn a nice little water move but we're getting all the cash we're getting all that xp that's what we like to see but i actually should head down to this pathway down here and through this grass there should be a trainer up here and berries yep give me that give me that gotta get everything gotta always get everything let me know in the comment section down below. Is this just me or is everybody do uh, all the trainer battles? Because I was watching some friends play and some people like to skip around trainers and not really deal with it. But for me, I like to battle every single trainer, get all the XP and kind of just go out from there. I just, that's just how I always played. I just feel like I cannot move on to another area until I defeat all the trainers. And it's actually a great way to play because then you will always be like decently leveled. You will either be over leveled or you will be like on kind of the same level as everybody else. So it's a really good all around way to play. And it's really fun because you get to do everything in the game that it has to offer. So you're getting your money's worth out of the game. But I was actually streaming and I was heading towards like the fifth gym. There's like this fog area, which is nuts. Like you cannot see anything. They did such a good uh, or a good job with the fog. Like you're like walking around hearing yourself bump into a bunch of walls. You're like, bro, what you mean? Get out of my face. This guy's going to send out Pachirisu. So we're going to have to keep out Glottal. I wonder if this thing learns like uh, any other coverage moves soon. But I'm sick of using Tackle. I would love to get like a ground move on him, even though he's not ground yet. He will eventually be ground when he evolves into Torterra at 32. So I cannot wait for that. And I also recently just got an Empoleon on my stream. So team is coming along just fine. We'll definitely be done. I'll use growth, man. What you mean, dude? What you mean? I always hate misclicking. But that game will be done way before we finish this playthrough. Way before we finish this playthrough. Because streams, obviously, you can just grind and just get after it. But I'm doing like everything over there. I'm completing the poke next. We're doing post-game content on there. We're streaming basically every single day for a good amount of time. So make sure you guys are following over there and turn on notifications. And people were uh, saying that uh, notifications really weren't working for Twitch. So I'm going to start sending out like a community thing. I'm going to start sending out like a community post on my YouTube channel. Let everybody know that I'm streaming. But I could growth up again. But this thing is just slowly doing damage to me. It's going to keep growling on me. Yo, come on, man. You're really going to make my life harder. You're really going to make my life harder. This dang Pachirisu here. He's avoiding the attack. We are going to swap here. We're going to swap into Buizel here just so I can get my stats back. So we're going to swap Buizel. 
Swap back into Groudle. Get my stats back. Try to take out this patch reset. Hopefully, he's not going for an electric move. But, yo, dude, I love Weasel and Floatzel. I think it's so sick. I think he's going to use Baby Doll Eyes. Drop my attack again. Weasel is such a cool water type. I love him so much. I wish he did get, like, a, a different typing on him as well. Like, could you imagine if he got maybe, like, fighting involved in him? I feel like fighting is cool, but I do really just like him as a water type. But I feel like you could add, like, fighting to him. He kind of looks like he can, he can throw, throw a few fists around. So he's going to charm, dude. What is going on, man? I can't do anything to this guy. This guy's charming and baby doll. He has charm, baby doll eyes, and growl. All attack lowering stats. What are you doing? Bro, what is this game? What is this game? This guy just uses all these moves. How much damage are we going to do? Okay, cool. One more should be able to take it out. Let's do it. Run it. <laughs> I'm like minus four, dude. <laughs> what am I? Minus six, actually? This thing is leveling into me. Attack fell. Razor Leaf's going to come out here. He dodges attack. Yo, why does he dodge attacks, dude? Quick attacks and a flat throw. We know this thing's moveset. This thing has the most annoying moveset possible. Take him out, please, Grottle. Yes, sir. Finally, get this thing out of my face. Get him out of here. Beautiful. Give me my XP. Weasel getting them levels. Getting them levels. Definitely want to start using them in uh, today's video. You guys will see more Weasel. But yeah, look at him down in my uh, down in my little thing, just moving around. I can just look next to me. Yeah, dude, he's moving around. Yo, I love, I love the animated sprites. Sprites, so sick. Loving him so much. But we're gonna pick up these orange berries. I'll eventually replant them. But for now, we're just gonna keep grinding up here. Give me these berries. There's a pokeball down there. And dude, if I had a water move, I can definitely go verse that guy up in the top left corner with the weasel. But since we don't have a water move, all we have is uh normal moves. We're not gonna be able to do work with them. So. We're going to be using my Grottle here just to rip up and slowly get after it. But yeah, in order to get to Eternal City, we got to go through the Eternal Forest, which is pretty cool because we pair up with a nice little NPC who can actually do work. So we're doing a bunch of double battles over there versus, I think, Team Galactic's in there. But like I said, once we hit Eternal City, it is it is going to be a good time. It's going to be a good time. Because the Underground, you can do so much. Like, I was I was doing it on stream. I was just constantly mining. I'm actually looking for uh, Dust Stones, Dawn Stones, and Shiny Stones for uh, Pokemon. And you can actually find them in the mines, but they're a rare drop. They are a rare drop, so I'll be on the lookout for them. I'll be on the lookout for the stones, because a lot of them you get late game. I want to get them earlier so I can evolve Pokemon and put them on the squad. Because we are using Haunchcore over there, and I need a Dust Stone to evolve them. And I am using Roserade as well, but a really cool Pokemon. Definitely a really cool Pokemon. But there we go. Hiker Dan, Hiker John, whatever your name is, get on out my face. We don't want you here. We don't want you here. Let's keep moving here. Any new Pokemon in this grass? I kind of want to look. Have a look, see if we can catch any of these newbies. A Shellos. No Shellos. And I think we already caught one, didn't we? I think we already caught one, yeah. Because we threatened the whole Shellos community in the last episode. If you guys haven't checked out the last episode, definitely go check that out. That was a funny part in the episode. We were trying to catch a Weasel, and there was like 80 Shelloses over there. And we found, I think, like five in a row. And I threatened the whole Shellos community. I was like, yo, I swear. Another Shellos spawns, they're going to get it. Can this chick like see me so I can battle her? But I was like, yo, I swear, if another Shellos spawns here... We're going to kill the whole community. And another Shellos did not spawn. They listened to me. They, they understood the assignment. <laughs> they understood it 100%. This guy's going to throw out Machop. We're going to get ripping into it. We going to get ripping into it. Where's Leaf? And I believe there is like a checkpoint here where uh, we can heal up in that house. I think that house can heal us up. Give us all of our moves back. All that good stuff. Going to leer me. Drop my defense. It's all good. Another Rage Leaf. Should be able to take it out. I kind of want to see this accuracy on Rage Leaf. It's 95. We missed twice. Actually, Pachirisu dodged the attack, so it wasn't like we missed the attacks. That no, wasn't too bad. But Chop goes down, get him out my face. And I want to have my Pokemon to kind of like more like closer to 20 when we burst the gym. Because Rose Raid, I think, is level 22, their highest uh, Pokemon in that gym. But something we can also do is once you get to the underground, the Pokemon are a little bit higher level because they scale with your level. So it is actually a very good way to train a Pokemon. You get a lot of XP there, but they do hit very hard. So you got to be careful when battling over there. But she's going to end up sending it all. Oh, that's a big mistake, honey. Sweetheart, that's a big mistake. Send it out of Pips? I got a Grotz, man. Send it out of Pips. Poor Piplup. I do love you, Piplup, but I'm going to have to smack you up with a Razor Leaf here. I'm going to have to put you down. I'm going to have to put you down, you little penguin. Later. Later, skater. Later, later, later. Give me all this XP. 130. And the worst is like, uh, I was like mid-game streaming. So it was what's called. We're, what, I meant, what I mean by mid-game is like we were like in between like the fourth gym. That's like the mid of the main game. And 
some of the Pokemon weren't evolved, so we're getting like 50 XP per it. And like my Pokemon were like level 36. Like I, I had an Empoleon at the time. I was like, bro, yo, can I get some more XP? But like I said, you can walk down there. You can actually grab yourself that lovely little lady. She will rest up your Pokemon. And then there's a nice little super potion out here if you guys want to grab it. Need it for the squad. But dude, this game's been a blast. This game has been so much fun. Just been grinding it the past two days. Been loving it a lot. And there's a bug guy over here. What's up here? What's up here? Eternal Forest. We cannot cut down anything there. And does this guy have anything to say to me? Any poison types are in the forest? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bibbidi bobbidi boobidi bobbidi. Let's rock out. Let's go inside Eternal Forest. So, here's a little NPC. What's her name again? It is uh, Cheryl. I was going to say Cynthia, but I was like, yo, that's a champion's name. I know who Cynthia is, but this is Cheryl over here. We got to lead her out of the forest. So, she's going to pair up with us. She's going to decide to go with us. And now, every battle we do here is going to be a double battle, which is pretty cool. We have a little bug guy there. He just has like a little poison saying about us. And we find ourselves an antidote. He's just telling us, like, be careful with the poisons. But I believe there are a few cool Pokemon here. So you might want to search the grass up a little bit. And over here is actually this moss stone right here. And if you guys do not know what that does, when you get Eevee, if you come back here, you do something with it. Like, you trigger it and you level uh, Eevee up around the rock. And it can evolve into a uh, Leaf Gun, which is really, really cool. And then there is an Ice Rock in the Ice region, which is, like, the 7th gym, I think. Yeah, it's the 7th gym. So late game, you can eventually get that. But we are going up against a nice little Benary squad here. And I think we just tackle up on one. Actually, yeah, because I want to catch a Baneri. We do not have one in our Pokedex yet, so I would love to get a uh, one over here. So in order to catch one when you're double battling, you have to take out one Pokemon. He's going to pound up on Chansey, and yo, dude, this Chansey stinks, man. I don't like this Chansey here because, it, like, I don't know. It just doesn't do a lot of damage, and it kind of just heals. Like, this is, like, early game. I'm trying to run through it. I'm trying to do some big damage, so everyone should just be hitting up. But we have to take out this Baneri on the left, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Maybe I should just use Razor Leaf, but it is double hitting. So it would have did less damage to both Pokemon. So they're going to double pound up on me. A sweet kiss going to fly through here. Hey, cool. He's going to confuse that one. And we're going to kill this one. And then we are going to catch this lovely bunny over here. And I think uh, Baneri is a cool Pokemon. Especially his second stage. I think it rocks out on team. Definitely a little off meta. It is fighting and uh, fighting and normal. But there are so many cooler fighting types. In it. There really is. It's a cool off meta Pokemon if you're using like off meta team. But if you were looking for a fighting type, there's no shot you were going to choose a Baneri. Because just think, you got Lucario, you got Gallade. Most people are rocking Infernape with fighting type on it. There's Star Raptor who has fighting type on it. Like, there are just so many better options. There's Toxicroak. Toxicroak is phenomenal poisoning fighting type. Love it so much. Like, they, you're just not taking low bunny. There's no shot. There's no shot anyone's taking low bunny. But we're going to add this nice, lovely, fluffy little bunny into our Pokedex. Just looks like a stuffed animal. It just looks like a stuffed animal, but I do really like that Pokemon. And we're going to get uh, moving on here. So we could actually catch Murkrow in here. Murkrow is uh, decently, I guess, on the rare spawn side of this. There's Wurmple here. I don't think we have a Wurmple, though. I do not think we have a Worms. So I can actually catch a Wurmple here as well. Add it to my decks, which is just lovely. Yeah, we do not have a Wurmple. I always forget what Pokemon I have and don't have because, like I said, I'm doing two playthroughs at, like, the same time. So we've just been doing that. Tackle's going to fly out here. I'm hoping that this thing can use Disarming Voice, but it will not kill that Wurmple. This thing's gonna go, I swear, if you poison me, I'm gonna cry. Don't do me dirty like that. Thank you. Rumble's gonna tackle over here. I would've been so upset getting poisoned, man. It's just not worth it. But I wish I could just like throw out a Pokeball just at one of them and catch him and then just run the other side. It's gonna end up using Disarming Voice. It doesn't kill the Wurmple. And this is why I don't like battling with this Chansey. It just doesn't do any damage. It's just wasting my time. It's just wasting my time. But well, we're grabbing up some levels. I'd rather just use like my Buizel. Get my Buizel some more XP. Get him some loving up there. And no, what you mean? <laughs> Gives me a mean poison. We're not a fan of that. So we're definitely going to have to rock an antidote with that. And more importantly, we can just catch this one here. Son of a biscuit, man. I think I'm running low on antidotes. I think I am running low on antidotes. Let's do it. Well, we could always run back and get a heal from that, uh, that little house, but it's really not. And something I'm actually really excited to see is this Wurmple's footsteps. I don't know why. I just want to see his like, footsteps. <laughs> Look at it, it's a dot. <laughs> it's a little dot. That's too funny. That is too funny, but my boy is poison. So, in that case. Oh no, we heal up every single time. That is awesome. I totally forgot. Cheryl heals us up every single time. So every time you get out of a battle, your Pokemon are fully healed. Just like they went to the Pokemon Center. So, pretty cool. A little little OP. I don't think they should have added I think they should have made a little bit more challenge. But, you know, it's early game, so we're just ripping out here. So we get into a little battle. Patch your resource here alongside with Wurmple. And I might get out my, what's it called? My Buizel when these guys are swapping Pokemon. But in the meantime, we're just going to go for a nice little Razor Leaf here. Kind of go from that. Quick attacks are going to fly. 
And hopefully this uh this thing's just gonna keep sweet kissing and stuff. Come on, yo, do some damage. Do some damage. It's rough when the thing's not doing any damage. And it's just like yo, early game with Glado is just it's just so slow, but yo, that's some good damage with that originally. We'd love to see it. We get a crit on it. We get a crit on that. We'd love to see it. But early game with Glado is so slow because unless you get a uh, Starling or something like that. Because like he's not hitting hard and a lot of Pokemon resist his attacks. Let's just keep going into these Razor Voice, or not Razor Voice, Razor Leaps, and getting our damage on. But Beautify should be able to give a good chunk of XP to our squad. Go for Disarmament Voice, please. Oh my god. Why would you go for a Sweet Kiss? Go for a Disarmament Voice. You're gonna go for a Gust. That's gonna deal just a nice chunk of damage there. Super effective, and Razor Leaf will be able to kill the Pachirisu. But of course, he goes for a Quick Attack first. Gets the first turn priority, and then Disarmament Voice pops. Actually, that, that works out a lot better. Because Disarmament Voice, actually it doesn't. It doesn't kill the Pachirisu. I was gonna say it works out so much better because our Rage Leaf would do more damage to his Beauty Fly, but he ends up not being able to do enough damage. It's all good though. Wurmple's holding a Petra Berry, yo. We just got Wurmple and that thing's holding a Petra Berry. He wants to learn a move? No, Baneri, we're not using you on our squad, so we're not doing that. Gus is gonna fly out here, and we don't like that one bit. We don't like that one bit. Can you use Life Dew for me? I'm gonna say this thing uses Life Dew. Use a Sweet Kiss, yo. Heal me up. I know you have Life Dew. You were using it on my other playthrough. So, yo, heal me up. This thing becomes confused. Can Rage Leaf do enough damage? It's gonna be kind of close. It does not. Yo, hit yourself. Do not use Gust on me. Do not use Gust on me. Hit yourself. Yes, sir. Kill yourself. Yes, sir. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Beautify down for the count. Can we swap Pokemon? Look at my Weasel out here. Look at that. Level 15. Learn a move, Weasel. Learn a water move. Learn water gun. Yes, Weasel is in action now. Yes, we would love to learn water. Let's get rid of, uh, what should we get rid of? Tail Whip or Growl? Let's get rid of Growl. Let's get rid of Growl. There we go. Buizel is out in action now. Getting Water Gun, looking lovely, looking spiffy. Gotta love me some Buizel action here. Love me some Buizel action here. But yeah, like I said, if we get to the end of, uh, Eterna City, we should be able to catch another Pokemon through the squad. Which... Well, let's just go for a Tackle here. Tackle will do more damage. And let's just get rid of this thing. Get these guys out of here. Big old half damage. Is this gonna life do me? No, now it attacks. Now it attacks. Oh, yo, nice hit, but it doesn't do enough. So, Kun's gonna use Harden. What else is it gonna do? It's basically like a Kakuna in this gen. But that's exactly what it reminds me of. Every every gen has like a Cocoon Pokemon that just uses Harden. And it's just like, dude, come on, get out of my face. But that's like, the, that's like the best part about every gen. Is seeing like who the main flyer is, who the main bug is, the starters. Like the, every gen has that certain thing. As a pseudo legendary it's just super cool all around to see that i always like when they add stuff like that but we don't need to go to the pokemon center our pokemon are gonna be full health i might swap it to my weasel here i might swap it to my weasel oh come on man we have wormple evolving i will let it evolve only for the sheer fact is we get it in the pokedex <laughs> but like he's just wasting our time at this point he is just wasting our time at this point beautiful got a silicon or is this cocoon it's a silicon Silcoon, Silcoon. And if we level him up again, he will actually evolve. He has learned Harden too, his signature move, which we love to see. But let's go into Pokemon. Let's put Buizel up in the front now. Let's get him some love and showcase him in this playthrough. Get rolling after that. We have a Pokeball right here. Let's get it. And we grab ourselves a lovely little Paralyzer. Loving it. Loving it, loving it, loving it. So we'll head down here. Got another double battle. I think we have like maybe like one or two double battles left. And then we will be in the town, which is awesome. Nice double battle. We got Weasel here. I wonder who they have. Hopefully they have somebody where Weasel can take them on. Psychic Pokemon. I think a Murkrow is going to pop out here. Oh, it's a double Abra squad. It is the double Abra squad. And Weasel should be fine just ripping up with these guys with water guns. I do like it. Weasel into action. Both level 15. Let's just drop a water gun. Don't matter which one we get through. He outspeeds. Get some. Ooh, that's a nice little chip shot. And oh, yo, what you mean? What you mean, Buizel? Yo, these things really rock an energy ball. They were doubling down on my Buizel. These guys play no games. And to use Sweet Kiss. That's whack. That's super whack. I don't like this game one bit. I, I finally give Buizel, Buizel some love in here. And we go up against two Abras that have coverage moves of energy ball. And they're doubling down on my Buizel. Get out my face. Get out my face. We'll rock the Razor Leaf. We'll get rolling with this one. He's confused. Hopefully he hits himself in confusion. Nope, he drops another energy ball. Dude's ripping with energy. 
The good thing is we don't our, our Breezer will be able to heal up after this battle, which is awesome. Another energy ball flying. I would have known. I would have never walked in with Weasel. Double energy ball. And there we go. Grottle's having some payback. A nice big old crit on one of them. And killing the other one. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Get him out of my face. Get him out of here. We're done with him. <laughs> We're done with Abra's. Weasel, rest easy, buddy. We'll heal you up. Don't worry. I mean, that could have been some good XP for Weasel, man. Silicoon did level up, so he's going to evolve again. I believe he will evolve again, which is pretty cool. Considering we get, uh, what is it, a beauty fly in our Pokedex? A nice little beauty fly in our Pokedex. Let's see. I think Silicoon evolves. Yeah. Silicoon on the Evo. We'll let him evolve. It is wasting time for us, but yo, it's all good. It's all good. It is all good. You meet this beauty fly towards the Pokedex. And I, I've been getting a few comments saying that you guys would like to see a full Pokedex playthrough on the YouTube channel. So I'm thinking we are going to do that. That would be more like a post game decision. So when I get done the game, maybe I'll ask it again. And then we'll be sitting there, and uh, if it is, we'll just catch all the Pokemon on uh, in post game as like a, a separate little playthrough. There is a lot of there is a lot of uh, post game activity that we can do. Let me make sure Buizel is here. Yeah, Buizel back to full. Howdy, Buizel. How you doing, buddy? Uh, heading to the grass. We get double battle. Show me Murkrow. If not, we're running. Silicoon and works. Okay, yeah, we run this one. No need to fight these guys. No need to fight these guys whatsoever. But I'm thinking of training a little bit off screen because I really don't want to waste time recording just like training Pokemon on side. So if I do train off screen, I will definitely let you guys know if we're doing that. But we got this little Pokeball here. Get ourselves this lovely Great Ball and let's head over to this next double battle. Weasel should be fine taking on this next one. Show me Murkrow though in this grass. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. This is some good XP. I kind of want to fight it, but same time I don't. Do we fight it though? These things do learn Absorb. I said we fight it. Actually, no, we're gonna get we're gonna get XP from this next battle. Let's just run it, save some time here, and we're gonna roll out towards the next enemy. Let's get him. What's goody dogs? Dun, 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 dun. Love me some double battles. Do love me some double battles if I can control the other. If I can control some other Pokemon. That's also something I want to do post game for uh, recording on YouTube. I definitely want to do some casual battles on the uh, in double battles for this game. Get some good trained teams up in here. That's something I will do on stream more so is train teams and train and all that good stuff. It's something I would definitely do on stream. So that'd be cool. And this Burmy protects. Burmy uses protect and protect looks cool in this game. And we're gonna go for a water gun. Good thing we're shooting onto the Wurmple slot. And yes, sir. Let's go for disarming boys. No, why? 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 We're gonna hope that thing does go for disarming boys. And we're just gonna attack this Burmy. Actually, hopefully this thing actually hurts itself in confusion here. Nope, it doesn't. He's gonna go for a poison sting. Don't need to poison my Weasel. Cool. If it doesn't poison Weasel, we're just gonna go for a tackle onto Burmy because I know this thing is grass type. So we'll start chipping away. Hopefully this thing goes for a disarming boys. Yes, there it is. Disarming voice pops out here. Murple will go down here and it'll slowly chip away some damage onto the Burmy. So with another tackle on Disarmor Voice, we should be able to take him out. But they do both have two Pokemon, so we'll see how this one plays out. Tackle's gonna fly out here. He hitting up on that Chansey, who is an absolute bull. Oh, yo, he has Dust Tox. I'm not liking that. I'm not liking that. Let's go for a Water Gun. I'm gonna start targeting down the Dust Tox. I'm just gonna protect again, yo. Look at that. We hard weed that protect. <laughs> I'm just playing. You don't even expect to protect in a, when you're playing regular game. This thing's gonna go for a Gus. Go for Chansey. Thank you very much. Yeah, I can hit the Chansey all at once. So we kiss over onto Dust Tox. That's actually a great play. Confuse this thing. This thing is uh, this thing is a little scary. Not gonna lie. But he is gonna give us a huge bulk in XP once we take it out. So hopefully we can do this alone with Buizel. And he's gonna try to protect again. Does Burmy only know protect? <laughs> does Burmy only know protect? Hopefully this thing hurts itself in confusion. Let's see it. No, it does not. And confusion is gonna pop in. Not on my Buizel, man. Weasel's able to soak it up though. He just doesn't soak up energy balls too well. <laughs> Darn voice popping. And I'm just gonna keep targeting down this dust tox. Weasel getting into action. But uh Buizel actually evolves on level 26, I believe. So we're gonna have a we're gonna have a little bit with him. This thing snaps out of confusion. And once it evolves, it turns to an absolute beast. It hits really hard. It is a great physical attacker. And this thing's gonna life do. Which I don't mind, but I'd rather go for the voice here. But life do is gonna be great because it heals up my chancy, and more importantly, it heals up the one and only Buiz. I don't be sad when I evolve this thing, but I'm gonna be happy at the same time because, like I said, dude, Floatzel is one of my uh, favorite Pokemon. I really like it all around. I really do think it's cool. But we're hoping that this thing goes to Burmy Protect Skin. Yeah. <laughs> Burmy Protect Skin. This thing's probably gonna go for a Sweet Kiss, but I want it to go for a Disarming Voice. Let's see. Come on, go for a different Disarming Voice. Disarming Voice, this thing. Please. 
Please. Please! Tail whip? What you mean? What you mean? Okay, so. Defense is gonna drop. We're just go for disarm boys. We're just gonna start tackling up on this Burmy here. We're gonna hope that this thing goes for disarm voice and can take this thing out. Well, you know, Burmy dead. Disarm voice time. Disarm voice time. 88 XP. Gus comes out here. Go after Chansey. Yeah, this thing's just ripping up on the Chansey. Yes, disarm voice comes out here. Thank the Lord. Dust Tox is gone, and we're gonna get a nice chunk of XP here. Nice chunk of XP. XP, baby. Yes, sir, yo. 438 for the Weasel, level 16. That's awesome. Beautify is going to level up. We don't care about you, Beautify. They have two more Pokemon left, and it's going to be Cascoon, which I'm fine with because water is special attacking, or water gun is special attacking, and then Cricketune is the final Pokemon. Okay, yo, Cricketune's looking pretty cool. Uh, I think I'm just going to target down the Cricketune. Water gun popping. Oh, get him. And Sweet Kick's going to fly here, and Cricketune avoids it. It's making the battle longer when it doesn't happen. Fury Cutter coming out here, and this thing is just going to harden which I'm not worried about because like I said, we're special attacking. His Harden does nothing. His Harden will do nothing with the water gun. On the Lovely little water gun, special attacking. But Weasel is eventually physical attacking. He has moves such as like Aqua Jet, uh, I think Liquidation he learns. He's just he's just more on the physical attacking side, which I really, really which I really, really like all around. But he's gonna, uh, gonna confuse the Cascoon and this thing's just gonna slowly start pounding off on us. Get this thing out of here, y'all. I'm sick of this Cricketoon. Yes, that thing hit her itself. Love it. Love it. Deal more damage. Uh, can a water gun finish this thing off? It's going to be cutting it close. I think it might be able to. But if not, hopefully it goes for a disarming voice. There we go. Beautiful. Gone. Cricketune out my face. And good thing we are versing a Cricketune. Because again, XP is going to be nice and lovely. Because Evo Pokemon give you more. Lovely. Veneery levels up. We don't really care about it. And disarming voice is going to pop. And slowly chip away. That's special attacking too. So his Harden will not do anything. Go ahead. Hurt yourself again. Hurt yourself again. Cool. Beautiful. And does he have one more Pokemon after that? Or is this the last one? This is the last one. Cool. Water Gun should be able to finish this thing off, I think. Water Gun flies. Boys will kill him coming in. And see you later. Get him on out of here. Get him on out of my face. Get some nice lovely XP. And Weasel is doing fine. Weasel is chilling. So perfect. We're doing good in today's video. Definitely want to just get through this forest, get through the city. But more importantly, I want to show off Weasel. But we are definitely going to be able to make it to Eterna City very, very soon. The best part about making it to Eternal City is we, I want to catch a Pokemon before we actually finish off today's video. That's the goal. That is the goal. And show off the underground a little bit. We can keep rolling up here. There is a double battle here, which we do want to take on for the XP. We're not going to rock out here. We are going to roll up here, do the double battle, and get rolling. Get on rolling, and then we're just going to start making our way out of here. Then, we are going to start making our way out of here. Beautiful. Let's send out Psyduck and Meditate. That's fine. That's fine. I'll just water gun down this Meditite. I would love to have my Growlithe out here. Growlithe could just do work on both these guys, but it's fine. It's fine. Faint's gonna pop out here. You can go hit up on my Buizel. Yo, chill on my Buizel. Chill on my poor Buizel. Water gun flying. Chipping. Drop a disarming voice. Yo, can you use a disarming voice, man? That is the play right there. We'll do some work up, up against that, uh, that Meditite. I think I'm gonna hard swap here. I think I'm gonna hard swap here. Just make life easier because, uh, this Buizel will take a while to actually KO the Psyduck. So if I just hard swap here into Grottle, we can just drop a nice little Rage Leaf here and get and get buzzing. Grottle, get on out there, baby. Get on out there. So hopefully this thing hurts itself, not goes for move. Nope, it goes for low kick. And that's chipping. That is chipping, yo. He just pieced on that Chansey, yo. He just pieced on that Chansey. He drops this armor voice. We're going to be able to drop a nice, lovely little Razor uh, Leaf here. And I think we should be able to take out Psyduck with it. Maybe pick up the double kill. Let's see. Rattle, do your worst, man. Do your worst. Meditite snaps out of confusion. And he is... Oh, my Lord. Yo, Chansey getting ripped. <laughs> Chansey getting ripped out here. You love to see it, dude. That's actually pretty funny. Rattle, don't worry. Rattle's got this. Rattle's got this. Yo, Chansey just got ripped by two low kicks. Right in her big belly pouch. Yo, Metatite just pieced her. <laughs> this went off, yo. Went off. Big XP for the squad. Everybody's gonna get some stuff and things. Let's roll out. Let's roll out. Let's get out of this eternal forest. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I think we might have one more battle in the forest, which ain't too bad. Ain't too shabby. Let's see. Roll up here. We have the grass up here. Let's leave. Let's blow this popsicle stand. 
keep moving up here. There's a Pokeball up to that side, which I do want. I do want that lovely Pokeball. And, oh, look at these wild enemies come out here. Silcoon. Double Silcoon? Or is that Silcoon and Cascoon? It might be one of each. No, it's a double Silcoon. We don't mess with that. We don't mess with that one bit. Autobots roll out. And we do make it to the end of forest, but more importantly, we have this one less Pokeball left. And we get a jar of honey to lather up on trees. So eventually, we will get cut very, very soon. And if you come back here with cut, you can head to the Haunted Mansion. And that is actually where you obtain the one and only Rotom. You obtain the one and only Rotom. But there we go. Cheryl is out of here. She's like, hey, yo, I used you. Used you to get out with forest. Now I'm out of here. But there we go. We're in Route 25 here. And we can actually first off on all these trainers real quick. Actually, I'm going to do something first real quick. I can skip these trainers and come back for XP. I want to actually catch a Pokemon first and foremost. My Pokemon are at full HP, which is awesome. I want to put these Pokemon away. But what I'm going to do, we are in Eternity City. We can actually do the second gym, which is awesome whenever we want. But I want to actually get the Explorer's Kit so we can head to the underground, catch a new Pokemon for the squad. And then I want to go back and actually face those trainers before we do finish off today's video. So that is what we're going to do. Let's actually switch to this. So we're Pokemon. Put you away. And yo, look at that. Yo, in the last episode, we got Mew and Jirachi. Yo, look how sick they look. Yes, sir. Yo, me and Jirachi, two legendaries on the squad. Loving it so much. But let's head down to that underground. Catch a new Pokemon for the squad. I don't know if you guys know who it is. Maybe you guys know, but here's him. He's going to help us out in that grass gym all day. But if you guys do not know where to get that Explorer's Kit, talk to this underground man. He gives it to you super, super early. And the underground is where it's at. Cannot wait to do this for you guys. Cannot wait to do it. But we're going to go here and then come back here. And then he's going to teach us how to go into the underground. But he legit just like sends us in there and we get to do our own thing which is amazing so going to underground is quite simple simply just use your explorers kit so in order to use your explorers kit hit your bag go down there click on explorers kit and hit use this beautiful let's rock out we in the underground now you can catch pokemon you can mine up you can do a tons of different stuff and works down here the first gym leader is this your first time down here yeah it is it's gene's first time down here pretty cool well, he teaches us how to get out of here, and he just gives us a simple intro, which I really like. It's just something quick, and they just throw us right in there, and that's pretty much it. But if you see these, the map right here, I can actually pull out the map on a bigger scale. I know I do not want to go up. I want to go here, and I want to look at the Grand Underground map. But you can see where we're at. Look how big this thing is. But if you see these little yellow dots on the map, you can actually go up to them and talk to the wall. And those are mining spots right here. In mining spots, you can find stones, you can find items, you can find fossils, you can find a bunch of different stuff, which is really, really cool. So, let's see what we get. So it pings it out every time and it lets you know that there how many items there are and we have to find them. There's two. So we used a hammer for big shots and we already found one. And look at this thing. There's something down here. It is actually a box which can give us statues for this place, which is really cool. And then you can use this little one just to chip away. But there are two items here in this uh, in this uh, little thing. But if you look at the top, you can see that thing cracking up there. And if that thing fully cracks, you lose. You don't lose your items. You just uh, the cave collapses and you cannot get whatever's left. I cannot find this last item, which is bare right now. Down here? I feel like it's down here. No, it might be in this middle here. We might lose this item. We do get that box, though. But hopefully, we can find this next one. Up here? No. Nope. And that thing collapses. We only find the one, but it's all good. I kind of just wanted to showcase it to you guys real quick. But we do get a pretty stone box. And inside these stone boxes are statues, which you can later use to actually get, like, a rare chance of finding Pokemon. And, yo, that's a good one. Rotom Lawnmower? We love that guy. We love that guy, but you can use statues to find Pokemon, increase shining chances, and all that good stuff. And now you have these rooms over here. And these rooms are amazing. We got the Fountain Spring Cave over here. And I believe we can find one of my Pokemon here, but he's super, super rare. He is super, super rare. One of the Pokemon that I want, but not for this uh this one I'm looking for. But I'm going to head back in here, see if we can actually get him to spawn. That could be pretty cool. I believe he spawns in the Fountain Spring Cave. But he's a 1% chance in the Fountain Spring Cave. So I might, I might give it a couple tries here. Gastron is chilling here. We can farm up Gastrons for levels. That is something I should do off stream, which I probably will do, which would be awesome. But I'm going to give this a few more tries to try to find the 1% Pokemon here. But that wasn't originally the Pokemon that I wanted. Let's just keep doing this. Let's do this one more time. Because, yo, if this thing spawns, I'm going to lose it. I'm going to lose it. So you can honestly just keep walking back and forth and find Pokemon. It's really, really cool. Oh, there's Buizos in here. That's pretty cool. All right, we, we want one more time. We want one more shot at this. Then we're going to head back to a different area and look for a different biome where I know I can find a Pokemon that I really want for the squad. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I do not want to say the Pokemon that I want on the squad. <gasps> I found him. I found him, yo. Togepi, baby. Give me my Togepi. Give me my Togepi, man. I want this thing so bad. This is a 1% chance, they say. I think it's 1%. 
He can constantly go through it. That is awesome. Yeah, we are going to be rocking with Togetic on the squad, man. Togetic, or not Togetic, Togekiss on the squad. Yes, sir. Yo, this thing is rocking life through. Definitely got to get it now. So we're going to capture him, and we are going to, I think, capture another Pokemon, which is definitely going to help us out in the gym. Where do I get the other one later? I'm trying to think of the other Pokemon on my team. I have it all planned out. One of them comes a bit later, and the other one comes another, another later. So we could catch both the Pokemon on the team. We could catch both the Pokemon. I do want to see what, uh... I do want to see what moves, but we are definitely going to have to catch the other Pokemon here. We are definitely going to have to catch the other Pokemon for the gym, because this thing evolves on friendship, and friendship is such a pain. It's such a pain to get up here. And this thing's rocking Ancient Power. <laughs> this thing's rocking Ancient Power. Yo, Togepi, baby! <laughs> Loving me some Togepi. Hey! Hey! What you mean? Yo, dude, that thing just ripped on me. Use the next Pokemon. We have to catch it. We have to catch this thing. Togepi, baby. Love me a nice little Togekiss. Let's do uh, Let's do this Pokeball. Yo, can we catch this thing? I swear, yo, if this thing kills me, that thing just ripped on me. Catch this thing. Shake it. One. Give me two. Give me three. Click it. Click it down. Let's go, baby. I thought this Pokemon was going to take us a lot longer to find. I was probably going to do it off screen and kind of just like cut to it. But yo, that is super, super cool. Then we get a nice little Togepi on the squad. Welcome to the team, Togepi. Let's put him down in our little animated stuff. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, do we have to go up and heal? Do we have any revives? That would be nice. I would like to just revive it. We do not. We do not. So I am going to actually head up. And I am going to... Uh, I am going to uh, heal up my Pokemon and then head back down and I think catch another Pokemon for the squad. We should do two here. He's like, ah, oh, so you went to the underground? Take this as a reward. Yo, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Actually, I think we I think we get our new Pokemon in the next one. I think we get the new Pokemon in the next one. We did get Togepi already in this one, so I'm digging it. Let's go back. Let's finish off those trainers and then catch our next Pokemon uh, in the next video. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Yo, take this for a few seconds and Togepi on the squad. Yo, our squad's gonna be ripping. Our squad's gonna be so good. But let me check out this thing's stats before we go battle and get some XP. Let's see. Pokemon. Togepi out and about. Check this thing summary. We definitely need a thing to be, uh... It's a naughty nature, so it's attacks down to special defense. Or it's attacks up. I don't really like its nature, but it is what it is. Oh, but it does have Serene Grace, which I really did want it to have that ability. I do like that ability. And it has Future Sight, Charm, Ancient Power. Do we have any TMs that this thing can actually learn? I'd rather give it some moves that I can actually hit up with. Let's see some TMs. Any TMs over here? We don't really have much. We have Stealth Rock. Nothing I can learn except for Rock Smash, but that's just a fighting move. I guess in the meantime, we'll just start slowly leveling up this Pokemon. Hopefully getting his friendship up, but friendship is such a pain. So we might have Togepi on our team for a while. Let's actually switch to our Grottle. And our Grottle can actually get our team a bunch of XP. And we'll go from there. So we just want to face off all, with all these little fishing guys. And then call it an episode from there, yo. Pretty successful episode. Headed down to the underground. Did not get the Pokemon that we were planning on getting, but we got an even cooler Pokemon. We got Togepi, who eventually evolved into Togekiss, and that is going to be our flyer for our team. I know a lot of you guys have been anticipating what Pokemon I'm using for team, so every time I catch a Pokemon, it's pretty cool to just show, showcase you guys what Pokemon we are using. But yo, I'm telling you, this team's going to look so good. It's going to look so good. So, so far, we're rocking Torterra, Floatzel, and Togekiss. The next three are absolute bangers. The next three are absolute bangers. But Togepi on the squad. We got a gold thing coming out here. I'm just going to run this with Grottle. Get the XP for all the squad. But, yo, I was not expecting to find Togepi, so that is hype. That is super hype. I was sitting there, I was just like, because I was reading up on it. I was like, yo, where do I get Togepi? Because I know for a fact I want him for this playthrough. I know for a fact I want him for this playthrough. I think Togekiss is sick. Fairy coverage, especially on Dragon type. It's just great all around. But, uh, it is going to be a pain to level up. But like I said, I was reading up on it. They were like, yo, it's a 1% chance in this biome. So luckily we just walked down there, found the biome, and we just walked back and forth. And that was honestly going to be my last try. If not, I was going to head to the other biome and catch the other Pokemon that I wanted. But this is awesome. This is even better. It's even better. It is even better. But Togepi, you guys are going to have to bear with Togepi here. Togepi is going to be... Oh, yo, he's learning Bite. Loving it. That's going to be a great move to learn. We're going to replace Tackle. But bear with me. Togepi is going to be an absolute pain to evolve. Friendship is awful. I was trying to friendship level up my Badoo in my playthrough on uh on my stream, and it just was not happening. I had that thing up to like level 27. But the good thing about Togepi or the friendship level is we do not get Togepi stone until closer to like the fifth gym. So we have plenty of time to level this thing up with friendship and get it rolling up there. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. We go up against Magikarp God guy over here. 
This guy has, I think, six Magikarps or five Magikarps. It's an absolute pain. But it's XP, and XP is XP, and we take it all day. We take it all day. But I think off screen and off camera, I am going to level up my Pokemon slightly. And if I do, I'll obviously like tell you guys, like, yo, level up these Pokemon off screen. That's how I did it. But chances are I'll probably just head to the underground because they are a decent level. They're level 16. They give out a good amount of XP. And I just think an underground is a great place to just farm levels. Well, let's get rid of all these guys and take them out. And take them out from here. But I hate, I hate this guy right here. Like, we don't get a lot of XP. I mean, overall we will because it adds up like 20-something. But like, dude, it's like 20-something. Come on, get out of my face. I could actually just send Togepi here. That probably should have been a play. But Togepi's level 16, just like Buizel. So it was actually a really good level to actually catch him. It wasn't like too low. That's good about catching underground. Just, they're just, just the right, just the right level. It's, mwah, yo, it's beautiful. It's like, it's like a little, little cheese on your pasta. It's just, it's just perfect. Just a little bit. Makes it perfect. <laughs> but he's going to throw out his fourth Magikarp. But it's all funny games going up against Magikarps until they actually throw out a Gyarados. And you're like, bro, dude, this thing's an unit. As we all know, we don't mess with Gyarados. Gyarados are a tough ordeal to mess with. Tough ordeal to mess with. Well, that's what I think that's like the only thing my team's really struggling with. It's like a Gyarados. We don't have an electric move, but that's just one Pokemon. But obviously, eventually, when I get all TMs and stuff, we definitely want to give one of my Pokemons an electric coverage move because we're not rocking Luxray or like Magnezone on the team. I do like Luxray, but we can definitely thrive without him. We can definitely thrive without him. Considering we do actually have a what's it called? We do have a ground typing on our Grottle or not our Grottle. When we get to our Terra, we will have ground typing on it. And that can just bust through electric types. And there is an electric gym, which is the eighth and final gym. So when I have Torterra, he's just going to be able to absolutely steamroll that gym, which is amazing. Which is amazing. So like I said, do Grotto or Torterra, Turtwig, whatever you want to call it. It's great late game. He's really good late game. But I think this is the final trainer on this uh, dock. I don't think that other trainer really says anything. I think he's just like, I'm en I enjoy fishing. And he kind of goes from there. But yeah, what a great episode today. What a great episode. Puts us in a perfect spot for the next video because next video we can defeat Jim 2 and start heading towards the next route and next city, which is great. And the next route is long. The next route is long. And I tell you long, it is long. We gotta make our way all the way down. There's so many trainers. That might be a two episode route. Like there are tons of trainers up there or we might just like condense it all into one video. We'll see. But there is a lot of training up to, to the third gym. So it takes a while to go from second gym to third gym. But then third gym, the fourth gym is like, dude, it's legit a snap of the fingers. It is a snap of the fingers. So I kid you not, like I did the third and fourth gym like within like a half an hour on my other account. But yeah, this guy's fishing is his hobby. Let's head over here. See if we can get these berries real quick and then we'll call it a video. And see if there's any Pokemon that we need to catch. See if there's any Pokemon that we need to catch. Bum, bum, bum. Do, 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 do. But I'll kill this thing. We'll get the XP. We'll take it all day. We shall take this XP all day. Loving it. Bop, get out my face, Shellos. Shellos, you gone. Drop him dead. Drop him dead. He gone. Give me that 50 XP. And is there any Pokemon that we can catch here? I don't think there's anything new. I don't think there's anything new out here. Let's see. Badoof, yeah. There's nothing new out here. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say, hey, yo, we out of here. We're not dealing with Badoof. We're not dealing with Badoof. And yo, one of my buddies, yo, if you're watching this, you know who you are. You know who you are. He's using Babiro on his team. Get out my face, dude. Me and all my other friends are roasting. I'm like, dude, you really using Babiro on your team? That is whack. That is whack that you even considered to use a Badoof on your team. I know some people like him, and I'm going to tell you now, you're crazy. You're out of your mind. You're out of your mind for using Badoof or Babiro on your team. Just letting you know that. Unless you're doing like a meme team or an off-meta squad, get out my face, dude. Everybody knows there are way better options than Badoof or, uh, or Babiro. Way better options. And then my other friend, he was saying, you know, this is cracking me up. He says... And all the Pokemon, I cannot complete the Pokedex because I refuse to uh, catch a Bidoof or a Babirial. He refuses to do that. And I forgot to plant these berries again. Let's plant the berries. Berries are always good. Let's plant an orange berry. We'll plant two orange berries and then other ones. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Cherry berry we'll throw in here. Little bit of cherry berry. Cherry berry is planted. And then we'll plant yet another orange berry. Yet another orange berry. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, let's go, let's go a little Petra Berry here. A little Petra Berry. And now let's head back to town. Wait, through the grass. Towards the gym, maybe. Oh, we don't have a bike yet. We actually do get a bike here. 
I actually do get a bike here, but where is the gym actually located? Gym is actually located right here, and we're actually going to be calling it a video here. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you click that big red subscribe button and join the Jeans community. As in the next episode, we're going to be taking on our second gym and potentially catching yet another Pokemon for the squad. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everybody. Thank you.